Now, when you think of the, one of the best indie games of all time, I think of Journey. Journey is such a beautiful, artistic, different indie game that has never been done before, or just like game in general that has just never been done before, or at least when it came out. I mean, this game is just so different from any game. But what makes this game super good is the fact that it tells a story through art. I mean, we really don't know a whole lot about the story. The story isn't really described that well. You kind of unlock it as you progress through the game by exploring, you know, the once prosperous civilization. But as far as that goes, that's really about it. The story is all told through art. And no game at the time has really done this. And really, even now, not too many games could pull what Journey did off. Because it was just such an original and different idea, but yet done so well. Now what also makes this game so great is the hidden multiplayer feature. The fact that you're just playing with some random person, that you have no gamer tag, no info on this person, you're just playing with a random person that you miraculously came across in the world. And I think that is really, really cool. Now it's not confirmed whether it's a multiplayer AI or it's a you know actual person playing because you know I played this game in 2021 and there were there was a person there so whether that was an AI or not it's kind of hard to tell because I you know and, and the way it moves and stuff it's really not like an AI it moves more like a um, actual person like for instance, the person I came across, we were getting a whole rhythm together and stuff, and it seemed more like an actual person than an AI. But I think this feature is absolutely cool because you're just doing a whole journey, like a three hour journey, with some random person that you have never met before. And it's just something about it that's really cool. And the fact that you'll never meet this person, never get their gamer uh, tag or idea or whatever, it's just so different that it's just amazing, to say the least. And the last reason why I just love this game so much is the fact that the story is so short. It's only, I would say, probably a four hour story at max, but there's so much story in it in such a short game. It's really weird, but it's crazy at the same time because that four hours feels like a 10 hour game, just, you know, experiencing the beauty of it and all that. Time really does stop when you're playing this game. You know, when I got done with this game, I started at maybe like 2 o'clock and I finished at like, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock or whatever, but it felt like I was playing, it was like, it felt like it was like 12 o'clock at night, it, you know, that's, that's how in depth and immersive this game really is, because it just pulls you right into it with its just amazing graphics and its beautiful art style that you'll be playing this game from start to finish, and you have to. This game is meant to be played from start to finish in one playthrough, because it's not as enjoyable as if you are playing, you know, separate parts, you know, a couple hours here and there, it's not as enjoyable as if you're playing from start to finish. Trust me, because I did both, and I would have to say that start to finish is 10 times better. But that's really about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell, and I'll catch you guys later.